hello beautiful people welcome and welcome back to my channel my name is Oluchi Iman in today's video I'll be showing you how to make easy cake parfait now these are the cakes that I'll be using I'm using cake loaves that are frozen and I also have my super stable whipped cream right here I have a video of this on my channel if you're yet to watch it please do and I also have my chocolate fudge that I'm going to be using as a filling and also some caramel okay so that's some caramel sauce so i'll start off by cutting up my cake loaf now this is not compulsory but it happened that i have these cake loaves from a uh, previous baking i've done so that's why i'm using this cake loaves you can use square cakes you can use rectangular cakes you can use round cakes as well but i'm using cake loaves for the purpose of this video tutorial So what I'm trying to do here is to cut them into sizable portions that I can further cut with my cake cutters for my cake parfait. I'm also scraping out the outer layer of my cake because I do not really like the brown effects but if this is fine by you it's okay. So I'm just taking out mine gently cutting it off before I proceed. Like I mentioned earlier, I'll be using cutters, so I'm going to show you how to use these cutters and also if you want to use cake crumbs, so you can crumble your cake and use them or you can just cut them this way, but I prefer using a cutter because it's much easier for me and I like the effect of the cutter. Now just in case you want to use cake crumbs, you can wash your hands and then go ahead to crumble up your cake just in smaller beads. Just make your cake crumbs. You know how to do your cake crumbs. So do that in the different flavors. And now I decided to do this because my daughter asked me, Mommy, have you washed your hands? So I had to show her that I've washed my hands. So that's it. Crumble up your cake in a separate bowl and just keep them aside when you're done. I'll just go right ahead to show you how to get that done for my red velvet and chocolate as well and then we'll get started with the filling. The first thing I want to do is to put a cake layer into my cup. This is a 12 ounce cup and that is what I'm going to be using for my cake parfait. When I'm done, I would go in with my whipped cream. So that's it. I felt that the layer was too thin so I added a little layer on top as well. So next up, I would go in with my cake layer again, going with my whipped cream just like so until I get to the top. So you can actually use 
complete caramel like fill your cup with caramel but i just love the effects it gives that's why i'm just putting it around the sides more like a window looking coat if you understand what i mean so that's what i'm doing right here after which i will go in with my cake layer again my whipped cream like i said just keep layering and just feel free to be creative with the process Now we're done with the vanilla cake parfait. Isn't that beautiful? I love it. So we're just going to cover it, set it aside, and also do the same for the red velvet and chocolate parfait. There's no hard and fast rule when it comes to cake parfaits. Just do as much as you can, be creative with the process and ensure that it looks really nice and presentable. Now this is the second method, just in case you want to use cake crumbs alone, you can just put them in the cup to serve as a layer, that's it right there. And then you go in with your whipped cream as well. Next up you go in with your cake crumbs again and then your whipped cream as well. So that's it. They just look different from the outside but I tell you that the experience is just as amazing and you know delicious as the cake layers as well. Now we are done with the parfait using cake crumbs and this is what it looks like. So cake layers, cake crumbs, they both work fine. Now if you've watched the video up to this point, you are the real MVP. Thank you so much for watching. Please drop me a cupcake emoji for me to know that you've watched up to this point and also drop me a kind comment. If you also have questions, you can drop them below and if you're yet to subscribe to my channel, please do well to click on the subscribe button and to turn on notifications so that you'll be notified when I upload new videos, okay? Now this was ready for pickup, that's why I went ahead to just box them. I'm going to put on my sticker on the cup. If you have some form of branding or something to use, you can also do that to your cake parfait. So this is my sticker going on and I'll also attach the spoon that comes with it. Okay, so this is what it looks like from the top. I'll just set that aside, go right ahead to put a thank you sticker, attach the spoon and that will be all. So thank you so, so much for watching. Let me know if you enjoyed this video. Until I see you in the next video, stay happy, stay safe and stay blessed.